Hello everyone, and today we are here to talk about the movie Us. Now, before I continue, I would like to thank you guys very much for taking your time off to listen to what I have to say about this movie, as in just me with the camera and my mic over here. Okay, now let's just get to talking about this movie. So Us is directed by Jordan Peele, whom he got his inspiration to make this movie from an episode in the first season of The Twilight Zone called the mirror image. Now you can watch this episode on YouTube, it's only a few minutes long and it's still pretty chilling. I've seen the episode myself. Okay, now let's just get to talking about us. So it follows Adelaide Wilson who is being played by Lupita Nyong'o, whom you may recognize in Black Panther. She goes back to the beachfront house with her family and that includes her husband, Gabe Wilson, who is being played by Winston Duke. Now if you remember this guy, this guy was also in Black Panther as Mbaku. Besides being the house where she grew up in, it was also in the area where she had a traumatic experience which had scarred her ever since. And of course later on in the movie, they're being pursued and hunted down by their own doppelgangers in orange jumpsuits. So an idea like that which seems fresh out of the box also was the reason why I wanted to, I wanted to go catch this film. So what do I think of this movie Us? Well, I can say that this movie is definitely one of the most thrilling and impactful psychological horror movies that I have ever watched. Now here are my reasons. Firstly, every second of this movie, from the prologue which kicked off exceedingly well and had me disturbed, all the way to the epilogue, had me filled with paranoia and thrills, definitely. Now I'm pretty sure that wasn't just me, but there were others who were whimpering as well as exclaiming at certain parts of the film. Probably they couldn't contain their suspense throughout the movie, especially during the scare scenes. Though the plot doesn't seem to be entirely concrete, I would think that it has a great and creative narrative structure, which is laced with some interesting poetic details, like symbols which explain, which subtly explain the concept of this movie. Secondly, it has a good blend of cinematography, which is similar to M. Shyamalan's cinematography style in Split and Glass. Cinematography style in M. Shea Milan split and glad. Uh. <laughs> Secondly, it has a good blend of cinematography, which is similar to the style used in M. Shea Milan split and glass, as well as the very unsettling soundtrack, which sounds like this. <laughs> now, if that doesn't scare you, then you probably won't be scared of this movie at all. Now, they make a great blend to suit the distressing but realistic theme of this movie especially during the scariest and most significant moments of us. Thirdly, the acting is one of the best performances that I've ever seen, especially for the family, for them to play, well, Adelaide Wilson's family, for them to play both the protagonist and antagonist, when both sides have very contrasting personalities and characteristics, as well as being able to pull it off in a timely manner with the cloning effect. Well, it just seems incredible. It was a really, really great show. So it's not just a film which is terrifying, but it is a film with one of the best acting that I've ever seen. However, despite the acting being great, now this is the point where I have to start criticizing the film because I feel that their acting lacked some emotion which I feel was essential for certain parts of the film. Moreover, the chemistry between Lupita and Winston Duke as a couple, there seemed to be little to no chemistry at all between them as a couple because they did not seem to show that kind of connection instead i would i would think that they show a connection which is seemingly them to be like more like friends at least i can at least say that or maybe this is what marriage life is i'm not sure what else i was disappointed in this movie was that it could have been more terrifying sure i was already gripped in fear throughout but i feel like I feel that they were holding back to some extent. I would think that this is understandable as this is an idea which is seemingly fresh out of the box, therefore they don't want to be too adventurous and risk overdoing it. So overall again, Us is definitely one of the greatest psychological horror movies I've ever watched. I really enjoyed my time watching it and I would think that anyone who is into horror films, mystery films or any films that is disturbing as crap, yeah you can definitely go catch Us because well it will I think that you would probably enjoy watching us too. It's hard to believe that this film was directed by Jordan Peele for me because I only knew this guy from Matt TV. All my weed is gone. 
I'm sorry, did you say all your weed is gone? As well as from Key and Peele. As he, well, he founded Key and Peele with Michael Keegan. And I never knew that he will that he would have anything to do with the horror genre. Therefore, I'm looking forward to seeing what other projects he is going to do in the future. And well, hopefully I can get scared by them even more than Get Out and Us. Though I haven't watched Get Out yet, but I'm going to watch it as soon as possible. Okay, so I think that's the end of my movie review of the psychological horror movie Us. Once again, thank you guys very much for watching this review and hopefully I can see you guys again soon. And well, of course, feel free to feel feel free to drop in your comments on your thoughts about this movie or about well, anything else. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. what the freak, dude? That's my computer, my script, my camera, everything.